Wiz Khalifa came onto the hip-hop scene in 2005 with some early mixtapes, but it wasn't until he signed with Warner Brothers Records in 2007 that he started seeing mainstream success. His debut single, Say Yeah, peaked at number 25 on the Billboard Rhythmic Top 40 Music Chart and number 20 on the Hot Rap Tracks Chart. The next couple of years saw him perform with other artists, leave Warner Brothers, and sign with Atlantic Records. His single, Black and Yellow, cemented his name in the industry in 2010, and he's continued to release new music, with 2020 seeing collaborations with Tyga, Logic, and Travis Barker. Like other celebrities, Wiz has had his fair share of legal troubles, mostly centering around a single type of crime. Ready to find out why Wiz has been arrested over 21 times? Let's take an up-close look at the criminal history of Wiz Khalifa. Born Cameron Thomas in 1987, North Dakota native Wiz Khalifa lived all around the world as his military parents were stationed abroad. He lived in Japan, Germany, and the UK before settling with his mom in Pittsburgh when he was almost 10. There, he discovered rap and started writing his own lyrics. Because of his childhood, he didn't fall into violence in gangs, but he did discover smoking weed when he was a teenager. He even credits weed with getting his career really going, but even if it helped with his success, it's also been an obstacle and the source of most of his arrests. The first arrest came in November 2010, right at the end of his Wake and Bacon tour that started in September. He had just performed at East Carolina University, one of the later stops on the sold out tour. The standing room only show earned him $10,000 alone after 1,500 students petitioned for him to add their campus to the tour dates. He had wrapped up the show and was just leaving the venue when he and his band were stopped by campus police. According to them, there was a strong odor of marijuana emanating from the bus in the backstage area of the auditorium. When approached by the police, Khalifa said he would cooperate with them and let them go into his bus to check things out. If there's one thing you know about Wiz Khalifa, it's his love for weed. So it surprised absolutely no one that the officers found what they were looking for on the bus. They reportedly seized about two ounces of marijuana from the bus and arrested Khalifa and nine members of his crew. He received a felony charge for marijuana trafficking, a felony charge for maintaining a dwelling slash vehicle slash place for sale or storage of marijuana, and one misdemeanor charge of possession of drug paraphernalia. If you think catching felony drug charges is bad, wait until you hear about how much it costs to bail him and his boys out of jail. Khalifa says he's innocent of the charges. Not that he didn't have any weed, but that he wasn't dealing it. A lawyer with a marijuana legalization advocacy group said it was unlikely the rapper would be found guilty of trafficking. You figure about one joint for each gram, so that's 60 joints. And if you're traveling on your tour bus, you don't have your connection with you. If you were at home, you would not have that much on hand. But unless they found scales or baggies or other evidence that someone bought weed from him, it would be a personal possession case. Even a possession charge would be rough though. Having more than an ounce and a half is a felony that could get you a year in jail. After being charged and booked, Wiz Khalifa was out of jail just a few hours later on $300,000 bail, which was apparently an error during booking. The cost should have only been $1,000, but the error was discovered two hours after Wiz had left the next day after all of his crew were out, and the PD was not about to give a 300 k refund. The result of his arrest wouldn't pan out until September 2011, nearly a year later. The district attorney in Pitt County, North Carolina, dropped all charges. He said that the charge was in error in the first place because the two ounces of marijuana recovered were far less than a 10-pound threshold to make big trafficking charges like this stick. In the end, three men in Khalifa's crew admitted that the weed was theirs and no one else's. They each pleaded guilty to misdemeanor possession and had to pay court costs and a $1,000 fine, but Wiz was off the hook entirely. He was in the clear until April 23, 2012, when he was arrested again on another marijuana charge. He and a friend were hanging out in his room at a Holiday Inn in Nashville when police showed up. Apparently, other residents didn't care for the strong odor of marijuana coming from their room and called officers to complain. When the police entered, they noticed a strong smell of marijuana and saw the then 24-year-old rapper toss a blunt out of the window. The officers asked if they had any more weed on them and they both said no. Unfortunately, they weren't telling the truth and the cops found weed on each of them. They were both given a misdemeanor possession charge and requested to show up at the courthouse for official booking within three weeks. By now, Wiz doesn't seem to be phased by getting arrested. In fact, you'll never guess how soon he was arrested again on the same charge. Just 11 days later, the rapper was busted yet again with his favorite illegal substance. On May 1st, he was in North Carolina on tour when police performed a search of his tour bus. They found 11.39 grams of marijuana and he and other members of the band and staff were cited with possession and requested to return for a court appearance on July 27. We couldn't find any solid information on how those cases worked out, but we imagined things were wrapped up quickly with a fine and a slap on the wrist. The next couple of years were quiet for Khalifa, though we bet that's just because he learned to be a bit more discreet about smoking and not that he stopped smoking altogether. 
The luck of not getting caught ran out on May 25, 2014, when the rapper was arrested at El Paso International Airport. Khalifa had performed at the Neon Desert Music Festival the night before and was headed out of Texas on Sunday morning. Around 6 a.m., he was going through security to get on his flight, but failed to provide a form of identification at the Transportation Security Administration checkpoint. That means he didn't have a license, transport, or official ID. They sent him for another screening because it looks suspicious if you're trying to get on a flight and don't have an ID. During the screening, a security officer found a small tin in the rapper's backpack filled with, you guessed it, a small amount of marijuana. Airport security then called in the big boys with El Paso police, and the substance was confirmed, a half gram of weed. He was taken to the El Paso downtown jail to be booked on a misdemeanor possession charge. He took it pretty easy since he'd already had a bit of experience in county jails, even taking time to share a jail selfie on Twitter. The police weren't too happy about that though. According to Wiz, the officer was pissed, cause I was like, yo, I really need to call my wife. I gotta tell her what happened. And he gave me the phone and I was like, selfie. The guards say anything? Were they cool if you taking a selfie? Nah, he was pissed. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Officer man, my bad, yo. I shouldn't even say his name either, cause he don't want nobody oh, to know no. who he is. I just double <laughs> now. <laughs> but yeah, he was swole, cause I was like, um, I was like, yo, can I get that phone, man? I really need to call my wife. Like, yeah. I gotta tell her what happens. And then he gave me the phone. I was like, selfie. <laughs> The picture went viral before he was even released on a measly $300 bond, and he didn't even miss his performance that night at the Soundset Festival in Minneapolis. In June of 2015, over a year after the arrest, Wiz finally had his court date. He pleaded guilty to possession of drug paraphernalia and ended up with nothing more than a $500 fine. Just for a change of pace, the rapper's next arrest had nothing to do with marijuana. In fact, the whole situation was unexpected. A couple months later in August, Wiz Khalifa was arrested again. But this time, it wasn't for marijuana possession. Instead, the rapper was locked up because, in his words, he didn't want to ditch the technology everyone will be using in the next six months. The technology he was referring to was a hoverboard. Apparently, he had been riding one through the airport. And if you've ever been in an airport, you can see why that would get him in trouble. He later shared a video clip of the argument that led up to the arrest, as well as a photo of him being pinned on the ground by six officers, and the captions, haven't been slammed and cuffed in a while. That was fun. And they love saying stop resisting. Wiz was detained for a little while, but only for failure to comply with the officer's request. He was quickly released and did not receive any charges. As far as arrests go, that appears to be Wiz Khalifa's last one. But that's probably due to more and more states legalizing marijuana. He did say in an interview in July 2014 that at that point, he had been arrested for marijuana charges 21 times. You said that you've been arrested over 20 times for weed possession? Yeah, yep. Yeah. The number is 21 right now. 21? Yep, 21 arrests. People want to smoke with me because they're like, niggas know Wiz is smoking, or if they smell weed, they're just going to blame it on Wiz. Obviously, most cases were probably settled with a fine, and some charges were probably dropped. But that's a lot of times to get caught. Plus the times he got arrested after 2014. Think all those marijuana arrests would change Wiz's mind about smoking so openly? Not even a little bit. But now that it's legal in some places, check out what he's doing with it. Nowadays, Khalifa continues to be a spokesperson for the weed industry and has even gotten into the business himself. In January 2017, he released a new strain that he developed with growers called Khalifa Kush. It became available in dispensaries in Colorado and Nevada. When marijuana became legal in California in 2018, Wiz was spotted bringing a full jar of weed and grinder into a nightclub in Los Angeles. But the substance isn't legal everywhere, so Wiz Khalifa's main vice is getting others into trouble where it's not legally available. In July 2015, a 19-year-old was arrested when officers found a gallon-sized bag of marijuana, more empty baggies, two digital scales, and a bunch of cash. It clearly looked like the guy was dealing, but he claimed he just wanted to be like Wiz Khalifa and show off in front of his friends. In August 2016, 75 people were arrested for underage drinking and illegal drug use at a Long Beach show along the High Road Tour with Snoop Dogg and Wiz Khalifa. The rappers probably didn't vocally encourage it at the show, but the illegal behavior got them some negative attention, much like when Wiz posted pictures online of him smoking in Malta, a country where marijuana is illegal. In the end, it looks like Wiz Khalifa's criminal record might be coming to a close since his primary source of illegal activity is becoming less and less illegal. You could always pull something silly like riding a hoverboard through a crowded airport. We'll have to wait and see.